I am now in Central Europe, and having passed through the Dolomites and Innsbruck, I leave Berchtesgaden in southern Bavaria to enter Austria and head towards Salzburg. The road is one lane per direction, and alongside it runs a small river to my left. The distance is only 26 kilometers, and I need about 40 minutes to get there. I am entering the city and I want to get to the city center. Although I had visited in 2010 and have a GPS, I'm a little bit confused and get a little lost finding my way. Salzburg is a beautiful and vibrant city of 200,000 inhabitants and is the second most touristic destination in Austria after Vienna. It is situated at an altitude of 420 meters and the Salzach River runs through the middle of it. The name means Salt Castle, as many centuries ago the mining of rock salt, which was the white gold of this period, contributed to the local economy's flourishing. A fact which gave the city a fancy style which it has kept true to even today. Hohen Salzburg Castle, which lies at the top of Festungsberg Hill, is quite emblematic of the city. It was constructed in 1077 AD and is considered as one of the best preserved castles in Europe. The view from up here is impressive and worth the walk. You can reach the castle by cable car. The old city has very ornate architecture that mixes between Baroque and Renaissance and is particularly beautiful, but it's usually too crowded. Most of the city lies on the west bank of the river, and if you don't suffer from agoraphobia it is ideal for walking, as it is a very beautiful pedestrian route. If you find yourself here, you can enjoy a coffee or a beer at one of the cafes located in the alleys. I had eaten in the square in 2010. Salzburg has many museums and attractions, but because my time was limited yet again, I did not visit any of them. Not even the home of Mozart, who was born in the city in 1756 and is one of the most famous people from here. I also felt like I did in Innsbruck two nights ago. Before I came to this city, I had heard so many nice things and expected to see something magical, but I can't say that I did. I would describe it as a beautiful typical Central European city though. If you are not a museum type person, I think one to two days in Salzburg are enough. It is worth staying more only if you want to combine seeing the surrounding areas like Koningsee Lake, which I visited in the previous video, or if it is winter and you want to ski at the surrounding ski resorts. My next stop after Salzburg will be at Lake Hallstatt, the most photographed area of the Austrian Alps. Thank you. 